Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, circle with the center P fully confined uh, between uh, this uh, semicircle with the center O and this uh, perpendicular, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, white circle has been given to us as uh, 4 pi centimeter square. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, BC length uh, is uh, 4 centimeter and uh, AB is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's make an observation. We got this uh, perpendicular that is uh, tangent to this uh, white circle. And here I have dropped another perpendicular on this uh, side uh, AB. And we can see that this uh, perpendicular is tangent to this uh, white circle as well. And now let's label the radius uh, of this uh, white uh, circle uh, as uh, lowercase r and the radius of this uh, semicircle as uh, uppercase r. And now our task is uh, to find the value of lowercase r and the value of uh, uppercase r as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius of this uh, white circle. And in our case, uh, the area of this uh, white circle is uh, 4 times pi. So therefore, we can fill in the blanks over here. We can write down 4 times pi equal to pi times lowercase r square. And here I can divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi is gone. Likewise, this pi is gone as well. So therefore, r square turns out to be equal to 4. And now I am going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore, our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be 2 centimeter. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, white circle turns out to be 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, length uh, is the diameter of this uh, white circle. And we know this radius is uh, 2 and this radius is 2. So therefore, this whole diameter is going to be 4 centimeter. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, segment uh, EC length uh, equal to this uh, diameter. So therefore, this EC length turns out to be 4 centimeter. And we know that this segment uh, BC is 4 as well. And now we are going to label uh, this tiny segment AE as uh, 2 times uh, X. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole uh, a B length uh, is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. So the diameter is going to be 2x uh, plus 4 plus 4. So therefore uh, the diameter of this uh, semicircle is going to be 2x uh, plus 4 uh, plus uh, 4. That is going to give us uh, 2x plus uh, 8. And we know the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle is uh, uppercase r. So therefore, uh, the diameter of this uh, semicircle is going to become uh, 2 times uppercase r equals to 2x uh, plus uh, 8. And now I'm going to divide uh, each and every term by 2 across the board. So therefore, uh, our uppercase r radius uh, for this semicircle turns out to be x uh, plus uh, 4. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x. And here's our next step. I am going to connect uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point of tangency Q. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The centers and the point of uh, tangency are collinear. So no wonder this center O, this center P, and this point of tangency lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, PQ is the radius of this uh, white circle and that radius is uh, 2. So I'm going to just write down uh, 2 over here. 
and furthermore uh, we can see that this uh, OQ is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle and we know the radius of the semicircle is uh, x uh, plus uh, 4 isn't it so therefore now we can see that our uh, this segment uh, op is going to be x uh, plus 4 minus 2 is going to give us uh, x uh, plus uh, 2 so thus we can see that our this segment uh, op length is uh, x plus 2 and now in this uh, next step i am going to connect uh, this uh, center p with this point of tangent cd as you can see in this uh, next step we got this uh, pd and we can see this pd is the radius of this uh, white circle and the radius is 2 so therefore this pd length has got to be 2 centimeter and now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees so no wonder our this angle of pdo is going to be 90 degree angle since this is our radius and this is our tangent line and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, is the radius of this white circle so this uh, radius uh, is going to be equal to this uh, ed segment length if this is a uh, 2 then this segment uh, ed length uh, is going to be 2 as well and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, ao is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle and the radius of the semicircle is uh, x plus 4 so this uh, radius is uh, x plus 4 and now we are interested in calculating this tiny segment uh, do length so therefore uh, this uh, do length uh, has got to be this whole uh, radius uh, x plus uh, 4 and then minus uh, this uh, 2x and then minus uh, this uh, 2 as well and if we simplify everything uh, over here that is going to give us uh, 2 minus uh, x so thus our this uh, segment uh, do length turns out to be 2 minus x and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle pdo and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is x plus 2 whereas our two other legs are 2 and 2 minus x so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so we got uh, 2 minus uh, x uh, whole square uh, plus 2 square equal to x uh, plus 2 whole uh, square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply on this uh, binomial so therefore this could be written as uh, 4 minus 4 x uh, plus uh, x square and then the square of 2 is simply 4 equals 2 and now let's recall another identity as well a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the right hand side so therefore we can write this one as uh, x square plus uh, 4x uh, plus 4 and now we can see this x square and x square is gone this 4 and 4 is gone as well and now i'm going to move this uh, negative 4x on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore if we combine these like terms that is going to give us uh, 8x uh, equals to 4 now we are going to divide both sides by 8 to isolate x this uh, 8 and 8 is gone so therefore uh, our x value turns out to be 4 divided by 8 is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 2 so thus our x value turns out to be 1 divided by 2 and furthermore we know our uppercase r radius is uh, x plus 4 so therefore i'm going to substitute this uh, x value as 1 divided by 2 over here so therefore our uppercase r radius uh, value is going to be 1 divided by 2 plus uh, 4 and if we add uh, these two numbers on the right hand side our uppercase r uh, value turns out to be 
9 divided by 2 centimeter. So that's our uh, radius for this uh, semicircle. Uh, uppercase R turns out to be 9 divided by 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that our this uh, yellow shaded region area is equal to the area of the semicircle minus uh, the area of the white uh, circle. And we know that our this uh, white circle area is 4 pi. So therefore now our only task is uh, to calculate uh, the area of this uh, semicircle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again. Area equals 2 pi r square. So therefore uh, the semicircle area has got to be pi times uppercase r square divided by 2. And in our case, our uppercase R value is uh, 9 divided by 2. So therefore, our semicircle area is going to become uh, pi divided by 2 times our radius uh, is uh, 9 divided by 2 whole square. And now we can see the square of this part is going to be 81 divided by 4. As you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore, uh, this semicircle uh, area turns out to be 81 times uh, pi divided by 8 uh, centimeter square. So thus the semicircle area turns out to be 81 pi divided by 8. And here's our final step. And let's recall this equation once again. We are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. We already figured out this uh, semicircle uh, area over here. And our white circle area is uh, 4 pi. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. So we got uh, 81 pi divided by 8 minus uh, 4 pi. And now we can write this uh, 4 pi as 32 pi divided by 8. So therefore our common denominator is 8. I can write down 8 over here. So we got 81 pi minus uh, 32 pi. So thus our uh, yellow shaded area turns out to be 49 uh, pi divided by 8 uh, centimeter square. So thus our yellow shaded region area turns out to be 49 pi divided by 8 uh, centimeter square. And that's going to be approximately equal to 19.24 centimeter square as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.